What's up guys, my name is Toxic Tuna, and today we are going to be playing Life is Strange. I'm really excited to try this game out. This is a... I don't know, it's like what people have described as a mix between uh, Heavy Rain and what you would see in um, a lot of the Telltale games, like uh, Walking Dead, um, The Wolf Among Us, things like that. I love those games. Uh, I think they're great games to kind of just sit back, relax, and watch. Because it's like a story. You're watching, you're watching like a movie unfold in a way, as opposed to other games where it's more involved with the actual player of the game. So in these games, it's a lot easier for the audience to really get involved as opposed to more of the person who's actually playing it. Uh, and what's great about it too is that everybody, well not everybody, but most people have different outcomes because they shape, your decisions shape the way that the game progresses. So uh, you, you could watch somebody do one thing and I could do something completely else, different. Or you could play it yourself and you watch somebody uh, who had a completely different outcome. So I, I love these kind of games. Uh, the real easygoing, uh, fun to watch, and you can kind of just kick back and enjoy it as if you're watching a, a TV show. So let's start going into it. I actually got this on my PlayStation as opposed to getting it um, on my PC. There was a discount on the uh, on the PlayStation Store, so I'm like, hell yeah. I love the fact that there's discounts. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Okay. That's something that's different. Um, I don't know how my decisions... I don't know how my decisions now could affect the past. Okay. Do you enjoy sleeping on uh You just gonna sleep there? You're getting a little wet. Where am I? What's happening? Why are you asking me? I just got here. I'm trapped in a storm. How did I get here? And where is here? I don't know. I like your cute little shirt, though. Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. Okay. I hope. Please let me make it there. Thank God for this sign right here. Okay, so we're playing. There's this cute little girl with a little Bambi shirt. It's always interesting playing as a girl, being a guy. I feel like... I don't know if it's going to sound weird, but I feel like I get more emotionally involved I guess like I <laughs> I care more for the character if it's a girl I don't know like I feel like she needs protection I feel like I need to make sure she's okay what does that say Blackwell Academy 1910 there's a skull on there okay so that's just like a little tour thing Okay, uh, sorry for paying attention to that and not the huge fucking tornado that we're staring at. Jesus Christ. Or is that more like a tsunami? Jesus, fuck. I'm too busy focused on the sign. Yeah, I'm there. I don't see how being any closer to this thing is going to help me at all. Yeah, holy fucking shit. Why are you anywhere near that? What kind of drugs were you tripping on last night where you ended up here? Oh, oh shit. Yeah, like, oh, ugh. Whoa. Oh, okay. That was so surreal. Famously called film, Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light I probably shadow. shouldn't have been sleeping in class. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a nice. photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. 
Bueller? Weird. Diane she just Arbus. did Bueller. He just did Bueller. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Look. Because of her Look. images of hopeless faces. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Because of her images of hopeless faces? Why would you show that to him? Who took that picture? I don't even know what I'm looking at. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad the mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. What's that? Shh, shh, shh. Keep that to yourself. My little camera bag Seriously, is battered, but still kicking. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you Good in a moment of desperation. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? They would think that you have a lot going on in your life. They would think that you're a pretty good drawer, because that camera looks... And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose Am I supposed to, to be paying attention to this the height of their beauty or innocence? I haven't kept up with my journal as she much as I should. So, she could have taken another approach. Take a selfie? I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Fr shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Mm -hmm. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Porno. Oh, um... Uh, I did know, but then I took LSD. I did know, but I kind of forgot. Mm -hmm. You either know this or not, Max. I guess I don't. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Sad face. What a bitch. Very good, Victoria. The daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s I all onward. that stuff. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. Is that Photoshop? You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <laughs> Heavy sigh. Okay. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Look how she's bent over like that. Mm-hmm. Dirty. Dirty slut. I just worked so hard. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Dear God. Am I supposed to... Looks like Photoshop, right? Looks like A little somebody bit. was already working on this. Cool. Tiny bit. Look at that cleavage. Looks like somebody was already working yeah, on this. Yeah, we already went through that. Cool. What's wrong with this girl? Look. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Oh, thanks. Oh. Hi, Max. Uh, I hope I didn't embarrass you. No, you seem quiet. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. She seems like she's been crying. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. I don't care. Let's talk to Mr. Jefferson here. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, 
Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Oh, shit. Uh, I didn't have any time. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Yeah. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Yeah. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images. To frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Well, and I'm an amateur because I don't want to give that shit to you. I'm going to stare at a TV instead. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Okay. My god, Mr. Jefferson is so hot. He has the biggest TVs. You His didn't tell TVs me how cute are I so like big. I was about to. You you Welcome look to the real world. Cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture during class. Oh, there's too many people talking. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. That's not a bathroom. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Hey, that girl was talking about me. I like this song. That's a locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. Imagine a world without you. American girls I'd like to be part of the Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I know what that word means. Dana is nice. It looks like she's been gone for months. The girl with the dragon tattoo. Too much shit to look at. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Surprising. It's Vortex. Where's the bathroom? Here? No? Football? Excuse me, Zachary. Uh, men's room. Oh, yeah, I'm not a man. The drama club is the bathroom. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Ugh, except for me. Now I can take a shit. Rachel Anstar is a bitch, or Amber. Now Rachel who Amber. Bother to write that crap. Yeah. Whoever wrote that crap is a bitch. Tampon dispensers. I'm good to flow. Thanks. <laughs> I so regret that. I so regret that. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. <laughs> Why do we have to read it? I can clearly read it. Oh, sweet. I love these. Oh. I wanted to see your face with the mustache on. Come on. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a Why? Gift. Why won't you show it to him? Just give it to him, dude. It's Fuck good it. enough. 
Oh my god. Ugh. Illuminati? When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. I'll call it butterfly on a toilet. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Do I have... Can I take a picture? Oh, there it goes. You actually have to get up to it. Wow, it actually worked. Who uses those kind of cameras anymore? Do professional camera people use those cameras? Like, can that actually take a good photo? Or is that just more... Just being this game? You're not allowed in here. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. Yeah. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now. Let's talk business. I got nothing business. for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, yeah. I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. Oh. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What the fuck? What are you doing? Fuck? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick uh, of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Why that word? Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Uh, that got away from me, psycho. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, God, it's going to drop. Okay. Sometimes when guns drop, they actually misfire. What the fuck? Whoa. What the fuck? How? Uh, how can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. Uh, I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. Yeah. From light to shadow. So the tornado no, before hassled again. The tornado before wasn't a dream. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, <gasps> Shit. Ooh. Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Am I going to take a selfie? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Ago, oh, that's what you Why mean by going this? all the way. Sorry. Because of her images. I got a little too excited there. Okay. <laughs> we're reversing it all the way back. Okay, we get, we're gonna not drop our thing. Well, what do I do? R1 to skip. Hold L2 to rewind. Black and white. Uh, I Anybody didn't do that right. Uh, I think I got it. I think I had to go all the way to the end. I did it. Can you I actually an did it. Of a photographer who perfectly I'm captured a human the human time machine. Black and white. Huh. Anybody? That's a new one. Max, don't freak out. Not yet. Don't keep it together. Think about exposures. Think about hues. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes. Take selfies. When I took my selfie. Yes. Asked me a question. I'm not taking another selfie. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Selfie. Do that to yourself. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. Yep. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max. As a gift. Yeah, we went over this. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. So that's why they said what your decisions can affect yet? the past. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been oh, a yeah. aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please... Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. Oh, shit. She answered it before. Uh, oh, I don't have to. Um, I have to use the bathroom. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. 
Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me no, after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Quit doing the Very sad face. Story. What if I rewind again process, and give him the right answer? Oh, okay. Faces. Making... Whoa, I'm still going. Art, hold R2 to rewind faster. Isn't that what you have to hold anyway? Oh, R2. Oh, okay. Ooh, what the hell is that? Since you've captured our... Uh, yeah, the, the Gregarian process. The Daguerrean process. Daguerrean. Invented yeah. by a French painter named Louis Daguerre yeah. around 1830. Yeah. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. Thank you. <sighs> the Daguerrean process Sad made face. portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. But you can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Mm -hmm. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Would he really say that Max, now that I did that? you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Let's talk to this girl again. Kate. Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, uh, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just dripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. Uh, yeah. I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. I feel this process, but bad for I also her. want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. So I should leave them alone. I have, my moment in the camera, I, and everybody should I have to go. I see you, uh, Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Kind of got to save a girl from dying, okay? A little busy. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid. Oh, thank God. Um, I'm not avoiding it. I'm not avoiding, just biding time. Waiting for the elusive right moment? Yeah, yeah exactly. Sad. Max, <laughs> don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Is John Lennon here? No. Why would I have to rewind that? Oh, I have to do this? Oh, totally. I only right. want to share whatever gifts uh, I have. Okay. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. Excuse me. One of photography's Bam. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm gonna steal his John Lennon quote. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I feel like I'd go back in time and like change my answer and no matter what they'd come up with something better and I'd still end up getting bitched at. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Uh, please, please. Which way was it? I can't it? tell anybody. Oh yeah, it Don't was think past crazy. cleavage girl. Damn! Past cleavage girl. Daniel! Oh, it was over here. Excuse me, sir. Uh, X. Okay, Max. Retrace every step. Uh, took a picture of a butterfly. I washed my oh, face. Oh, yeah. I kind of just skipped. I shredded my photo. Yeah. Then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave. Oh, we're them early this out time. Of this bitch. I can oh. tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around. What am I gonna do though? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what oh, there we go. Oh, sorry, it's 
I need a hammer to break it open. Oh shit. You are going to get in Looks like Samuel forgot to take the cleaning cart out of here. Oh my god. Never even missed your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. I'm reversing time very much. Don't ever tell me what to do. Did she not I'm even so notice me? Of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody. I'm so would sick of her saying hella. Guess, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! There we go. No way. Don't oh. ever touch me again. Crotch shot. We did it. Another shitty day. Oh great, our photo. So now he knows what we are. This cannot be real. Oh, I it's just real. Saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Can I run? Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. <laughs> excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Marijuana. Thank you, Mr. Madsen. Not marijuana. Situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. How does he know there's no fire? Just because you're clearly the principal doesn't mean that you know everything. Seriously though, turn that shit off. That's annoying. Let's talk to Principal Wells. Let's look at him first Principal and stare at his beautiful bald head. Looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does he hate me? You look Probably. a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Oh, report Nathan or hide the truth. Um, I well, definitely should report him. I just right? saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Why is slow she neglecting down. the girl? So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girl's room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then... Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? I don't know. You won't be able to undo your choices after leaving this area. I... I feel like even though... Even though it didn't really come out the way I wanted it to, we did the right thing. We're just gonna let it happen? No. We should report it. I mean, he might be, uh, he might... Get him and check for a gun or something. I don't know. It would just be weird, like, not saying anything about it. I don't know why she, like, decided not to, uh, not to tell him about the girl. 